Yeah, Colin and I just came out of um, Lake Christabel's hut, um, our first trap for the season, and we thought we were going to go and go fishing at the lake, but um, it's quite a brutal tramp, and by the time we got there, we were both knackered, and then it's another half hour to the lake, and then we thought if we got up this morning and walked half an hour to the lake and fished for two hours, and then another half hour back, well that's three hours already onto a long tramp coming out. So if you're gonna go in there fishing, you wanna stay for two nights and have a day to fish, you know. Um, it's quite a brutal track. Well it is if, you, if it's the first one of the season. Yeah, so you'll see the video. There's some amazing scenery from the tops. So we really got classic scenery, eh? But you gotta earn it, eh? Yeah, good day there, I'm here with Colin. Right. Here we go. This is our first serious hit out for the season. Colin's knees come right, so we're back in action. Today we're going into Lake Christabel, and neither of us have been there before, so it's all new for us. Um, there's two ways in, so we're just we're going to go the first way in at this stage um, by Maruria Springs. There, um, I've been told that there are fish in there from a very good source, so. Um, Hopefully we'll catch one. Um, quite interesting because there's not supposed to be any fish in Lake Karabataka and I went there and caught one and I was telling someone they said well there's actually fish in Lake Christabel as well. So um, hopefully we'll be lucky. Um, yeah it's going to be new territory for us so that's quite good. This weather, like we would have been up at uh, Lake Muncham but it said the weather was going to be no good but uh, now today the weather forecast has changed and it's okay up there so uh, but there's supposed to be 10 percent of rain later on during the day up at christabel so uh, yeah so anyway we'll see what happens and we'll see you on the journey yeah okay see you later <laughs> all right this is andy and sarah and they are doing the trail heading south and we just dropped them off at windy point so, Oh, yeah, and they're going to start my place in Christchurch. <laughs> Possib <laughs> possibly, yeah. Hey, uh, going to do all our washing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we just dropped off and Andy and Sarah. They're doing the South Island individually, but they just sort of met up on the way. And uh, we're at Windy Point. We just dropped them off and they're going to, is it the Hope Kiwi Lodge, I think, tonight? And then they'll be going down to those hot pools, Huanui over Harper, then Hamilton Hut and heading down the bluff. But um, I told them to give us a ring and um, somewhere to stay at Christchurch if they want to have a night off, you know, yeah. Okay, so we're on our journey again. Um, it's been quite an entertaining day so <laughs> far. It's good yeah. hearing those to talk about their experiences um, on the trail. Yeah, they haven't seen our friend Nelson on the trail. Um, so he might have been going the different way or it might have been a few days ahead or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, all the best. The journey no, goes on. Yeah, yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, Travis Peaks up here. Yeah. Oh, it might be the one up there actually. Yeah, Colin and I did that in... When was, was it? Was that August or September? August or September, oh, in August. Yeah. We did that in August, and it stood up the top. I didn't do, actually do a video of that, just put it on Strava, and it really knocked the legs around a bit. That's right, and then the um, couple of weeks after that, I did the Avalanche Peak with Della. I haven't done anything since. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Deerstalker's hut, yeah. and there's some hot pools up here. So, I'll be a Celia flat. I think they've shut off or closed off now. That's in here, isn't it? Is that the Ranger? Nina, it's the Nina Valley. Okay, right now, Colin and I are just starting our trap. What's the time call? Uh, just after 11. Just after 11, and we're going in. It's a place called Rough Creek which is 4 k's past Maria Springs. Um, we haven't done this before, so it's all new for both of us. And I just um, put my pack on, or put on a bit of weight. 
had to adjust the strap, so I've got to get back into it. Yeah. So not many cars on the road, because it's just before... Uh, well, it's the end of November, so... This is Rush Creek. That is. So it looks like we go up. The track must be here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Six hours. Yeah. Bush line, two hours thirty. Is that bush line hut or the bush, bush line? Bush line, yeah. Okay. Well, that's where we're going. Oh, there's a five o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Is that pushing time? Five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get in there. There's notice up here. Yeah. Oh, COVID. COVID's gone. Play itself out. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Body eight. Well, we'll see you on the journey. We'll just cruise on in here. Yeah, we've got the band back together. Collar than Sprago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've been going about 20 minutes and we're just basically following the river and we well, don't know where we're heading. <laughs> Bit of a sidle track. Very nice in here. Not a lot of bird life, haven't heard anything yet. Mind you, I've taken my hearing aids out. <laughs> yeah. Got a beach. Yeah, well, we just had that very steep bit back there. Then it's leveled out and it's quite easy going here. And we're back to the same river. So there must be a waterfall down there or a big gorge that we've missed. That's why we had that steep up climb. But this is very pleasant, easy going. There's going to be a bit of a bugger when we have to go down that steep one with all the tree roots, but um, we'll just take it easy. Very nice bush, and it's not real closed in bush, but a distinct lack of bird life. Yeah, especially compared to um, Mount Bradley, where I was with down there on Friday, the birds everywhere. Well, very quiet here. Very pleasant walking. Yeah, we just had a uh, double river crossing. We had to cross it down there, and then we had to come and cross it again. And um, there's been a washout, so we stayed on the washout, and we, we didn't have to do that. And now we've got wet boots. <laughs> It's very pleasant, it's very pleasant and it looks like this is like a continual grind up, it's not like a big slog uh, apart from those stickers back there. So, anyway, problems up ahead so I'm going to go and catch up. Yeah, and the sun is shining up there, yeah, so we'll be out of the bush in about an hour I'd say, yeah. Okay, see ya. Oh, very nice. Ready? Yeah. Bit of water in the creek, isn't it? Yeah. Nice it's a lovely scene there. Yeah. We've had, I think this could be the fourth river crossing. This little stream, this one, could have broken into two. But the last one was up above the gators. Oh, wait a minute. Colin signed something. No, no, we're going to cross it. No one. Yeah. Oh. It seems to be as soon as you cross the river, you've got to cross it back again. 
You know what? We'll just follow the markers. Well, we're definitely going up now. Yeah. Uh, this is a steep part of the track. Somewhere up there is the bush line. And uh, so there is a, a nuggety bit here. Good for the legs. So I won't uh, have my camera on when we're walking up because you'll hear my breathing too loud. Yeah. So it's going to be a bit of huffing and puffing going up there. So, okay, so we'll see you when it levels out a bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, now we're just about out of the bush. Uh, the bush line's just up there, Colin's just up there. Now, as I su suspected, <laughs> you come up Rough Creek and then you've got to turn off and come up a ridge. And it's steep as, you know. Tree root stuff. Um, he's looking down at um, yeah, tree root stuff all the way, kind of steps up and it'll be pretty steady slow going down, but that's okay. So it looks like it's just going to um, get out of the bush up there and I'll film that once we're above the bush line. We'll get a view and see where we are. Um, yeah, so there's a sort of climb up here. So you don't want to do it unless you're pretty fit and I'm dragging the chain a wee bit, but we're, we're still doing it. Yeah, okay. So I'll just go up there and catch up with Colin. <laughs> right. Well here we are above the bush line, you can see that, the marker's down there, and it's actually nice to get off the, out of the bush, and that was a nuggety climb going up there, but now it looks like we're doing a bit of sidling, this is all new to us because neither of us has been here before, but there's bound to be deer up on those slopes up there, has to be. Um, the track is well marked, but there's a few trees that have fallen down back there, and those trees are the ones with the arrows on them, so, <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's poles from there on. Yeah, we're just having a lunch break. Well deserved lunch break. We've been going oh, 3 hours 11, uh, but just cruising along. I uh, don't know what it was to get to the top of the bush line. It might have been 240, but we did take a wrong turn back there. We went up the wrong one. Um, now this is the view looking down, and it's all poles now. <laughs> Great country up here. Absolutely magnificent. Now, we can see the next one, two poles. So I think it's going to go up that way and over there. So we've got a bit of a grunt. And then once we get to the top, we'll be able to look down, hopefully look down at Lake Christabel. Yeah, so we just don't know. All I can see is the next two poles. So, um, but I'm sure all will be revealed. <laughs> I think that's what it will be. Yeah. Okay, time to eat, and then we'll get on moving up that hill. <laughs> well, we found out where the other poles are. Straight up to the left, straight up high. There's Colin just going up a ridge now. Yeah, we, I think we, we head up. Oh, I can see the next one up there. Yeah, just about on top. And then... Well, hopefully we'll be able to see the lake. Now the rain, it just started raining back then, but it's just backed off. You can see it's raining down in the valley. And Colin's just been pointing out the tarn. So the tarn over the top, the tarn down there. So the animals have got plenty of water up here. Yeah. Yeah, so we sort of, we're in a big basin. And we're coming up and I'm looking forward to looking down the other side and going downhill. Because <laughs> I'm going downhill. <laughs> okay. We're nearly at the top. That's the top there. Colin's just sitting on the rock having a breather. 
And uh, yeah, that's where we came up. Well, the bush line down there, had loads down there. Uh, I actually thought the poles would go straight up and over, but they don't. I'm um, very, very lucky with the weather at the moment because there's been a few showers and then it's cleared up now in the sunny patch. But we look, look that away, it's full on rain. I think that's where we might be. The lake might be down there. So it just, whatever happens, happens, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we haven't got far to go to the top and we'll get a good view from the top and we'll show you the view once we get there. Okay, this is coming up to the top. Wow. Snow on the peaks. I just... Now that's where we came up from, right down there. The road is way down there. And, uh, hey Colin, yeah. is the pole there? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to have a look up here. So we can't see the lake. Uh, we might be able to see it from up here further. Lots of tarns up here for the animals. Yeah. Can't see any more uh, poles after that second one. Just a yellow one there. Yeah. It must might go down, side or round and down. Or... So that must be the stream flowing in. Yeah. And the hut will be down there, and the what lake might be right around the corner. Yeah, we see the hut before we see the lake. Yeah, hmm? we go to the hut first. Yeah, it's, it's on my yeah. the lake. Oh, there's a pole down there. Look, a white pole right down there in that saddle. Yes, you've got good eyes, mate. Yeah, see where the tarn is? Yeah, go out to the right, but we probably go down there. There's one down there, yellow one down there, too. Oh, yeah, so we go yeah. down there. Yeah. Down there. We'll get down to that creek. Yeah, yeah, that's the way we go. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, we've got a bit of downhill now. Certainly looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good stuff. It was great up here, but it looks like the weather's gonna pack in. But we'll be if we get down to the bush before it does, we'll be right. Okay, doggy. See ya. Yeah, it's steep going down here. Looks like we go straight down here, then it bears to the right and goes over there. But this is the nuggety part. Or part of the journey. It's just that grass is a bit slippery, so you're better off on the rocky bits. Can't help noticing all the different types of little mosses and uh, little small grasses up here. Okay, onward and downward. Well, that's where we came down from the top and it's that slippery stuff and it's not very pleasant, pretty slow going, but now, we're sidling around to the right and it's not going to be so bad and the weather's still packing in down there but it hasn't got to us yet so that's okay uh, certainly a fantastic place to be I uh, uh, don't know how many hours we've been going for four hours no? four hours twenty four hours twenty seven actually <laughs> so but um, certainly not going fast yeah spectacular uh, 
one more bird there. I've seen two birds <laughs> the whole time. There's this lack of birds here. There doesn't seem to be birds around. So, seen two little skylarks, I think, from a distance here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll head on and uh, we'll catch her up probably down when we get down to the stream. And then the hut is before we get to the lake. So, uh, once we get down there, we haven't seen the lake, so uh, we'll get down there, we'll find the hut. And, Well, we're very lucky with the weather. It's just backed off again. The wind's dropped. Um, batteries are running out with my handheld GoPro, so I've got the helmet on. Yes, yeah, nice and warm. Uh, probably another cloud will come over, but at the moment, very good. To see one more bird. We've seen three skylarks the whole time we've been here and heard nothing in the bush. It's quite strange actually. Shame. And uh, we're up there and there's a very big tarn up there and you couldn't see it through the clouds and this saw a bit of it and because Colin said, oh there's the lake. I thought, that's all right, we've been doing all right. And, yeah, wasn't the lake. <laughs> Well, the Shit River has arrived. Um, not too bad. Looks like it's probably going to get worse, though. But think of the positives. We're not up the tops. We're halfway down. And we're not going straight down. We're sliding along and the track's a bit better. So, there you go. You always find a positive somewhere. <laughs> Hey John, have a look at that tree. Quite unusual, isn't it? Oh, look at that. See the leaf in it? Yeah. And, and it looks like a flower head in amongst those green leaves. Where's the flower head? See the... Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's just the way the bark falls off it as well. Oh, look at that. I don't know what that's called. Is that some kind of freesia? Because you know no, how the bark no, falls no, off? No, they're not freesia. No. No. I don't know that one. Okay. I haven't seen it. All right. Well, we've been going down in the bush. It's like going up from the bush the other side for the last half hour. <laughs> Colin just said, it's an honest walk, John, and it's a bloody honest walk. There's about 300 metres of easy going, and all the rest is either up, down, slippery, tree roots. But that's life. We must be getting fairly close to the stream at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, we're not far from the lake. And or for the hut, because the hut's 30 metres from the lake. Um, Colin does smell the sulphur. Yeah, the distinct smell of sulphur. It's around here. And we thought that stream might be hot water, but it's not. But it's... Um, yeah, there's definitely something around here that's given off a bit of a sulfur smell. Don't know where it could be up, up there. Anyway, it can't be far from the hut. And boy, what a slog! <laughs> Serious slog, eh? Yeah, it's just relentless. I think if you haven't done this trip, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, um, it'd be a once for us, but it's been an enjoyable day. But probably as we're going to turn around and go out tomorrow, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, out of the blue, here's a swing bridge. First sign of civilization. That means other people must actually do that trip. I don't know the name of the river. It could be the blue grey or grey blue or little grey. Not sure. But might be a sign up here.
No sign. Oh, there's a hat. Woohoo! Yeah, the hat is 30 minutes from the lake. I don't know if we've seen the lake tonight. <laughs> Palmer's Road, Rough Creek, Robinson River. Hmm. Right, let's have a look at the sign. She's good. I'm oh, good. tidy, tidy hut. Keep, keep the door shut on the sandpipe. Yeah. Okay, this is the inside of the hut. It's pretty comfy. Bloody marvellous. Okay, we'll settle in. Uh, how long did that take us, Colin? Oh, this oh, one. Yeah. 6.50 now. I got seven hours forty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did a little bit, a bit slower than we we're supposed to. Yeah. Okay, over and out for a while. See ya. Oh, here's a map. Wait a minute. Yeah, I was looking at it. Here's the hut. Oh, yeah, we go down there to the lake. Straight down. Okay. Oh. Very good. Wonder if we could walk out and get a ride back to the car and go out the other way. See what it says on for Palmer's though. Uh, on the map. Or it was... Oh, have a look. Yeah. Okay. Coffee time. Well, we've made a decision. Because it took us seven hours, over seven hours to get in there, and it's half an hour to walk to the lake, and then if you fish for two hours, then come back, it's another three hours, and add that on to seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just going to head out. So we're not going to go fishing. We're just going to head out because it's an absolute bastard of a track, the worst track we've ever been on in our lives. And we just want to get out in one piece. And um, so we're just going to have breakfast and hit the road. And Colin's out there getting some water. Yeah. So we'll see you on the journey on the way back. And the weather is. Looking out the window, it looks still cloudy. Um, I'll get a bit of a video of the surroundings of the river down there because it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see you later. Breakfast time. <laughs> yeah, here's the seed of the little river just down from the hut where you get the water. Beautiful. Down. And there's a hut up there. And there's no sand flies. No sand flies at all. Uh, can't work that out. That would be early in the season for them. Okay. We're going to get on the trail. 
Yeah, this is a bit of rock formation on the trail. There's a few of these quite dramatic big boulders. <laughs> the track goes underneath them and through them. And We can smell the sulphur back there and then it, uh, it's got faded away but it gets more intense further up. Just enough room. Oh. That's the sort of stuff we've got all the way. Real ankle snapping track, that's what it is. Yeah, this around the corner, there's another one. Big overhang. And there's the stream down there. Yeah, it's slow going because it's foot placement all the way. And you gotta use your brain all the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, onward and upward. A nice little bit. We're still in the uh, about out from the hut, heading out. There's some really nice scenes here, eh? It's absolutely beautiful bush. Just a shame there's such a lack of birds, you know. And on the drive-in, we saw two weasels running across the road, so that's probably one of the reasons. And plus, there's no traps in here at all, so it's just been left for its own devices. Yeah, we're just going up and it's got this really nice spot in a deep gorge there and the waterfall, yeah, we have to go through some trees and the waterfalls all the way up there too um, dropping into the stream down below it's really nice and I can't get really close to get a good shot of it um, we'll come back here look and see where we get that one down down there Right okay. Yeah, we're just stopping for a feed. I just come out of the bush. It was three hours from the hut to get up here, and I'll just show you the scenery. Bloody magnificent. Um, it's a big basin, and now we have to go up that first little knoll there, then over for about a, I think maybe a kilometre, maybe not quite. Then we turn left and go straight up the top, then we're into the other basin and then it's just down and down to the bush line <laughs> and then down to the truck, you know, but that's a few hours away but um, it's good to get up here, you know so just having a well deserved rest and a um, bit of a charge up with the food and then we're on the journey again, yeah <laughs> Yeah Right, that's the end of the side all and now the next part is suicidal. <laughs> yeah, that's Colin heading up. And you might be able to see that little saddle at the top. That's the pole, that's the top. So um, can't avoid it, can't go around it. You're just going to go straight up it. But the good news is once we get to the top, that's the end of the climbing. Okay, so Colin will be waiting for me at the top, so I better get up there. <laughs> Right, here we are at the top. Uh, that last grunt up there, it was hands and knees stuff for a bit of it. Uh, but it's all over now. Uh, we're very lucky with the weather because this was all under fog and cloud when we were down in the valley, but it's lifted a bit. And now it's downhill, so the first bit's going to be a steep and nuggety, and then we'll drop down, and then it's the bush line, and then it's the truck. So it's few hours away I suppose yeah anyway yeah it's been a bloody good adventure so far <laughs> yeah yeah this is going down from the top
so many tarns up here for the animals. Well, look at that. Just like that, the road appears in front of you. Connor will be waiting at the truck. Woohoo! Well, that was a solid trip, must say. Thought about the last climb down just before the end. Six hours. <laughs> We can beat that by two. Eight hours. <laughs> now that was a great opener to the season. We didn't know what we were expecting there. Didn't know what we were going to get. I forgot about that last big drop we had to do. Shit! Yeah, really that was a bloody monster. I didn't. I couldn't even remember it. Yeah, I didn't either. But yeah. yeah. I think it was okay. So we're out from Colin and Sprago. Yep. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>